Tonight on this stage, you are going to meet a man who claims he can move physical objects using only the powers of his mind. All of us are very pleased, not just pleased, but excited to have you with us. Now, you claim to have psychic powers, don't yes. you? Yes, I do. Is this something that you have discovered recently, or have you known of it since childhood? How did it all begin? Well, everyone's born with it. It's just a matter of development. What are you going to do, James? I'm going to move a pencil for you. With just psychic powers? Just psychic powers. Very well. <laughs> is it true that you can also turn the pages of this telephone directory? Yes, it is. And you will do that for us? I'll try. Should I take the pencil off the table? Sh yes. All right. There you are, James. You would like to open it to any page, or should you I'll, want me to do it? I'll be happy to. Mm. Ready? Ready? All right. The amazing Randy maintains that you did not use psychic power, but that it was trickery. Mm. And he is prepared to pay you $10,000 if you can do it using psychic power. Here he is, the amazing Randy. <laughs> James, Randy? Randy? Okay. Now, you saw James' demonstration from backstage. Yes, I did. And do you accept that as a demonstration of psychic power, or do you believe that he used trickery? I don't accept it as a demonstration of psychic power, Bob. I think that the solution is rather simple. I think that Mr. Heydrich is merely, to accomplish this effect, blowing on both the page and on the pencil. And the reason is rather simple, because the pencil reacts to even the currents of the air conditioning in this studio. It will be very difficult to try to put controls on it in such a way that normal currents of air that are present all the time would not move the pencil. For example, it moves very, very easily. All right, you're not going to ask him to do that. That's one down, one to go, James. You are prepared to pay him $10,000 if he can turn the page of the telephone directory with certain controls. That's that right? right. Since my theory, as yet unproven, of course, is that it's accomplished simply by blowing, though rather cleverly, I must admit, done, there should be a way, a simple way, without a lot of instrumentation, to demonstrate that fact by using one very simple control. Now what I have here is particles of a white plastic, which when given a good puff, good heavy puff of air, will, I think, rather conclusively show whether or not blowing is a method accomplished. Now it will not, perhaps, in some way, differentiate between genuine psychic power and actual blowing, but it certainly should be very interesting indeed to see what now occurs. James? Ready? Now, James, you had another question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? What would you like okay. to ask? Okay. The styrofoam and the lights form electricity which pulls the page. Look. It pulls the page down instead of freeing the pages. I'll just lift up. One, two. Lift them in a bunch, if you would, uh, Bob. Just take about a quarter of an inch of them. All right, there, place like them. that. That's fine. Gently place them down gently so it doesn't disturb the foam. I know. Uh, well, oh, I thought you. Oh, wanted the other to place way. Them. Yeah, the other way. That's what I thought you meant. Would that sure be helpful to you? The static is going to still be here because of the foam. See, that's well, what I'm it saying. is the opinion of the judges that there is not enough static formed by the the foam to be a problem. So, uh, under the conditions agreed upon, it uh, would seem that now you should at least try with psychic power to turn the page of the telephone directory, James. Okay.
It's not going to uh, turn for you? No, it isn't. This isn't a magician's trick. I can't just come up, bang, bang, and it's over. I have to be to where I can work with something small and then big, you know, to build up my own self. James has not won the $10,000 with this demonstration. So it seems. Now, you have heard what uh, James's explanation is. Do you have any comment to make on that? Bob, the, the comment very briefly is that I have gone through many hundreds of these tests with many hundreds of people who claim to have psychic powers. And quite frankly, it's more or less the same story every time. When a simple, direct, very uncomplicated protocol is used and the control is applied, the psychic forces don't seem to be present, if indeed they are ever present at all.